Well, this tornado season is uh, unlike any we've had before in that the number of deaths now has reached a, a new level. To be honest, we thought that the number of deaths from tornadoes was going to be dropping systematically and has been dropping systematically since the 50s, uh, in large part because uh, tornado forecasting has gotten much better. We expected the number of deaths to go down until 2011. This year, the number of deaths has, has risen dramatically and, and largely, I believe, because of just terrible luck where these storms have suddenly hit populated areas in Alabama and Missouri and, and elsewhere. Invariably, we get to ask that question. But uh, at the moment, uh, we have no, no one has speculated or shown any data to indicate that the number of tornadoes is increasing because of climate change. We have seen over the past uh, 30 years or so that the number of reported tornadoes has risen dramatically. Our belief is that the number of reported tornadoes has risen dramatically because there are simply more people reporting. Science is a contact sport. We say science is a contact sport and we want to bring that science back to this classroom. So among the ways we do that uh, is through programming. We have this site tornadopaths.org and this site is designed so that anyone can come and see what's happening at the moment. Where are tornadoes on the ground at the moment? Uh, where are they touching down? Where are reports occurring? It's updated every five minutes or so, so you get the latest uh, on the storms. Um, and then as we get confirmation of the tornadoes, we're able to put in the path of the storms. You can go to your own zip code and find out what storms have occurred in your town, what tornadoes have occurred on this day in history, we collect all tornado information since 1950 is there. So combining the interest in science with the programming skills has been uh, one of the things we've been able to do here at the university.